a wide variety of standard and custom thermo tweeze tips are available to suit many different surface mount removal applications. There are two-sided tips for chip components, SOICs, SOJs, and others. There are four-sided tips to remove J-leaded PLCC components, PQFPs, and leadless ceramic chip components, or LCCCs. There are also special thin-walled tips for leadless components, found on micro-miniature pager boards and other high-density assemblies. Tips are also available for removal of extra-large extended lead devices, such as this 304 lead PQFP. These tips let you remove the tiniest chip component safely. For further details on available tips, consult the latest revision of the PACE Tip and Temperature Selection System or the PACE Price and Parts Books. To select the precise tip for your application, match the component you want to remove with the appropriate drawing found in the thermo tweeze section of the Tip and Temperature Selection System. Then follow the chart to the right and select the lead count or tip dimensions which match the specifications of the component. Finally, note the corresponding PACE part number of the tip for your application and install it in the thermo tweeze as described in Part 1. You may verify the approximate match of the tips to the component while cold, but tinning on the tips or component may affect the fit. Proper fit of the tips to the component is best verified during operation when the tips are heated to operating temperature and the tinning is molten. The heated tip should pass easily over the body of the component and contact all the leads at once when the tips are brought together. Make certain the hot tin tips contact all the leads at the same time. And be sure your component identification and tip selection are correct. As tolerances and specifications of components can vary greatly, proper tip selection is vital for safe component removal. You can often compensate for minor sizing differences by using the bridge fill method described later in Part 4. Otherwise, a custom tip may be required. If you have any questions regarding applications, please contact PACE or your local authorized PACE representative. Next, in Part 3, we'll learn how to select an appropriate tip temperature for your particular application.